guys, it's Rachel here and today I'm going to be filming for you guys my birthday book haul. As many of you know, or as some of you know I guess, my birthday was on March 15th and I had some lovely friends send me a couple of books for my birthday. Um, they do not have to, but um, the ones that do I am super appreciative and I love all of you guys so 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 much, the ones that sent me books. Um, there is two unboxings because I have not opened, I have not opened two of them, I received them today, but the other books I have opened and then I have one book to share with you guys that I got sent for review but yes I'm super excited so let's go ahead and let's get into it. So the first book that I had to share with you guys is a book that was sent to me by re for review. It was contacted by this author asking if I was interested in it and I let them know that yes I was because you know I love being sent books and I really enjoyed uh, the the reviews that I fought for this one. I got really good reviews and it's going to be called The Land's Whisper by Monica Lee Kennedy. Now Monica like I said contacted me herself asking if I was interested in reviewing her book and I told her yes after I read a lot of the reviews for it. Now this is a fantasy type book um, that deals with apparently the the earth being almost like um, a character in and of itself. There's magic that can be pulled from the earth and um, it follows a, a man and a surrogate son I believe. Um, I am really looking forward to this one. I am excited to see how this goes. Um, I really have been enjoying like kind of fantasy-esque type books right now so I'm hoping to really enjoy this one and I will let you guys know when I'm done with it. So the first book that I received from one of my friends for my birthday is going to be Monica from She Might Be Monica and she sent me Revenge and the Wild by Michelle Modesto. Now this book I saw from Riley from Riley Marie 1196 and this is like a western type of story and it has cannibalism in it and now when Riley was talking about it it's in her video. I knew I had to have it. I immediately put it on my wish list because I knew I wanted something that kind of had western elements in it and also had to do with um, the cannibalism because that is like so up my alley. I love people eating other people. It's my thing. Um, the other book that I've, I have not read too many westerns but the other book that I can think of immediately is going to be Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman. I really enjoyed that book. Hopefully Hopefully, I will enjoy this one. Um, I'm so, so looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Monica. You're the best. The next two books were sent to me by my lovely, lovely friend and like my, like we go so far back. I, I've been friends with him for so long and that's going to be Max from Well Done Books. Um, every year we have sent each other books for uh, bir our birthdays and Max is just so awesome and I'm so proud of all the things that he's done with his channel. I'm so proud of his success. He's so fantastic. I love his channel. I love Max. He's so wonderful and I highly, highly recommend him and uh, the books that Max sent me are going to be. The Remains of the Day by Katsu Ishiguro. Um, this pretty much is follows essentially the life of a butler and um, it sounds so simple when you think about it but I've heard that it is so fantastic and I know this is one of Max's favorite books. Funny story though, I sent Max a copy of this book for his birthday and the wrong copy was sent to him. The movie edition was sent to him which was so funny because he was telling me that how he wanted to get a copy of Never Let Me Go also by the same author in a specific movie tie-in edition that he really liked so I just thought it was really funny that I sent him a book of a movie tie-in edition that he didn't want but anyways Max sent me this one. I do have Never Let Me Go in this beautiful edition as well. I'm looking super forward to this one. I'm sure that I'm going to enjoy it. And the next book Max sent me, which I'm not even surprised that he sent me because he's been raving about it, is going to be My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. I'm not 100% sure what this follows, but I believe this follows two best friends in Italy kind of growing up and going about their lives. From the reviews I've seen of this, it sounds fantastic. Um, I know that um, Marines from My Name is Marines really enjoyed it and so did Max. Obviously he sent it to me. This is next up on my books to read right after I finish Vision in Silver. I'm definitely going to be picking this one up just because I feel like I need something like this in my life. And now I have two things to unbox, so I will go ahead and unbox this first one. So it's going to be a copy of Two, Volume 4 by Jonathan Lehman and Rob Guillory. And this was sent to me by... Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know who this is sent to me by. It just says, I love you and I know you're in a slum, so hopefully this helps. I'm not leaving my name on purpose. <laughs> okay, so I have... 
absolutely no idea who sent this to me, but whoever sent this to me, thank you so much. As you guys know, this is the fourth volume of the Chew series by Rob, John Layman and Rob Guillory. I have read the first volume. I need to read the second and third volume. But pretty much what this follows is um, a main character named um, Tony something. Tony Chu, our main character named Tony Chu, and he's a psychopath. So basically, what this means is that when he eats anything, he can see where it was grown, its past life, and everything. So if he eats like piece of human flesh, he can see how they were killed, and so that makes him um, really helpful as a detective. And in this world, chicken is outlawed. Um, it is a black market product because there was a big avian flu that killed off, a, uh, I believe, a lot of people, a lot of the chickens, and so now it is a black market product. I really like the first volume and. And I really hope now that I have the fourth volume that I can go ahead and go through the second and third and fourth one. So whoever sent this to me, thank you so much. It was super, super sweet of you. And then the next one, I'm pretty sure I know who this one is from. So I'm looking super forward to it. So the next book that was sent to me is going to be The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater and this was sent to me from Riley by Riley Mar from Riley and Marie 1196. Me and Riley also go way back. I love Riley so freaking much. She is one of my best friends on booktube. I love talking to her. We talk all the time on Voxer. She's so fantastic and she sent me obviously a copy of The Raven Boys. Now funny, I um, love The Raven Boys covers and I actually own a copy of this in hardcover but it was a second hand copy and it's all torn up so I'm really happy to have like a really good condition one um, because I know I'm going to enjoy the series. I started to listen to it on audiobook but I wasn't really enjoying the audiobook so I will go back to it you know as this goes. Um, I'm not 100% like it's kind of hard for me to like describe how what the books are about but to my best of my knowledge this follows a main character named Blue and Blue is from a family of psychics and she is told that the person that she falls in love with or whatever is will die or something like that and so this also follows her and her meeting these four boys called the Raven Boys and they're trying to find some kind of magic I, if I remember correctly um, I'm looking so so forward to this um, and I know that the fourth book is fixing to come out and I think I pre-ordered it without even having read the first three books but that's totally okay because this is something that I feel like I should marathon read actually I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy the second next two books just for what the hell of it. Um, I love the covers of these books. They are so super stunning. And thank you so much, Riley. You're the best. So yes, those are all the books that I got for my birthday. I am so grateful to everybody that got me a book. You definitely didn't have to but in, you know it is so sweet of you for getting me a book um, I am super excited to be back into the reading thing and super excited to read the books that you guys were, had sent to me other than that guys if you guys have read any of the books that I mentioned you can let me know down below and other than that thanks you so much for commenting liking and subscribing and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye